Nyt! Rilimats, tervepä terve again. In this video I'm going to show you how to do the data migration for Dynamic CRM. The scenario in this one is that I have CRM 2011 on-premise installation and I'm going, going to migrate some data over to CRM 2016 which is also on-premise installation. And the tool that I'm going to use is uh, Kingsway Soft Integration Toolkit, which is a third party tool, especially designed and planned for doing data migrations and integrations for different kind of systems. And there's also kind of like connector to Dynamic CRM. Uh, especially good features that I like in this tool are the ability to do also updates for the data. Uh, including the option set value mapping, date and time field handling, and also the error handling features. I'm going to show you the details in, um, in the screen, screencasting video shortly. So let's get into the details then. Okay, so here we are in our uh, dev environment where I'm going to show you the data migration progress. And um, uh, in this one I have the Visual Studio installed, the Kingsway Soft SSIS Data Migration Toolkit uh, is actually using Visual Studio as a uh, tool for, for um, running the actual package and designing the package. And um, uh, if I start from the uh, explaining the scenario in a bit more detail, is that I have um, uh, CRM 2011 which is a source uh, for this data migration. Uh, it's an on-premise or actually IFD installed um, uh, CRM from which I'm going to migrate some accounts over to the on-premise installed CRM 2016, which I'm running here in our local environment. Um, uh, so, so the authentication scenario is that I'm, I will be authenticating to the source CRM using the IFD installation and then the target CRM will be using Windows authentication as it's a local, local CRM installation. But uh, this tool would work uh, very well also for on-premise, uh, other kind of on-premise scenarios and also the online scenarios where of course, the authentication scheme would be a bit different uh, if we would be using O365 based authentication. So um, in this tool, um, there are a few basic components which needs to be configured for the data migration to be working fine. Where first of all, there are the connection managers. Uh, so the source connection, as I mentioned, is uh, CRM 2011. And in this connection manager, I specify the authentication type, which is the IFD in our scenario here, the URL of the um, source CRM server, and then I have the authentication um, username, password, and then the organization uh, name. I have uh, this source uh, CRM environment is a multi-tenant uh, CRM installation. So there are several organizations hosted on the same CRM server environment. So that's why the organization is also important here. I can click test connection from here and then the uh, connection manager actually does uh, kind of like a test connection to the source CRM and it seems to be working fine. So we are good to go for the source side of the things. Um, then I have the destination here, which is the CRM 2016. And as I mentioned earlier, it's going to be an Active Directory on-premise authentication type. I have the username again, and this, this time we need the domain as well, because it's a local uh, AD against which we are going to do the installation. I mean the connection, and then here is also the organization name because it's a multi-tenant installation as well. We'll do a test again and it seems to be working fine. So we are good to go in terms of the uh, source and the destination CRMs. 
Then the actual uh, data flow and the package itself, um, this toolkit uses SQL Server integration services packages to run the, um, um, the, the data migration over. And uh, uh, in more detail, I'm now going to execute only the accounts because uh, of simplicity later on in perhaps in the next uh, screencast I will show you more di more uh, complicated scenarios uh, but this one I'm going to only use the accounts and if we look at the data flow task here in the in more detail I have uh, a few steps which are going to be executed while doing the data migration first of all we read the account data from the source CRM and if I look at this step in more detail um, there are a few configuration things that needs to be taken into account. The connection manager, which is the one we just tested, uh, that's the one we are going to use in this one. There's the batch size, which I can specify uh, by default. It's 2000 records in one batch that it's going to be fetching over. And uh, then the next one is the source type. I can specify fetch XML query, as you can see here. Uh, a bit below. Uh, we can also use uh, just an entity query uh, where uh, we would specify the entity type here and then it would fetch basically all the records, I mean the, all the columns that we specify for that entity type to be queried. But this time we'll use the fetch XML because I want to demonstrate uh, how to kind of narrow down the number of records that we are going to fetch from the source system. Here we use the two conditions. First is the uh, status code for which we want only the active uh, accounts to be queried. And the second condition is the uh, address one city field in which we only want the accounts where the address one city field contains SPO as the, as the city. And then uh, one final thing which I want to uh, want to mention is this uh, time zone information. So perhaps lots of you has run into uh, have run into the problems when uh, migrating data over using uh, for example Excel files because as you know CRM dynamic CRM stores the time zone or actually the time information to the database in UTC time zone for each record. And then when you query the data from database using SQL, you get those date time fields uh, so that the time part of it is in UTC. And if you don't take this into account when you uh, migrate data over to the target system, you might get some time difference depending on from the time zone in which you are in. Uh, so here in this tool you can specify that how the uh, time is actually fetched from the source and then how is how that is handled when it's saved to the target. And in, in this our scenario the UTC time the default option works well. So that's the um, uh, source kind of like fetching the source data from the CRM. Then one of the cool things in this tool is the option set field mapping, where I'll be uh, showing here only one option set field, uh, but you can actually specify the source um, uh, option set field and the target, and then you have the mapping tool to say that which source option set field option actually maps into the target one and this is very simple scenario here we have a, kind of like a strategic level field for the account in which there are three options a b or c and we want those to be mapped exactly the same way to the target system but this could be more complicated scenario as well uh, where you want to map the option set field values over to the target system. So this works well on our scenario. And then finally, before we run the package, I want to explain a few things about the target 
uh, step and if we open that and see the details here is another thing which I especially like here in this uh, Kingsway soft package or, or the toolkit is the um, action types so here we use the absurd which means actually that it will look for the existing records in the target system using the absurd matching criteria which we specify here so if it doesn't find one uh, meaning if it doesn't find the matching record on the target system then it does an insert but if there is already uh, a kind of like a matching account in the target system then it does the update uh, uh, action using the primary key meaning the GUID of the account uh, as the update key and there are also other uh, action types here I won't go into the details of those at this point but I just want to mention that this absurd uh, action is very useful and makes life easier in, in several scenarios when you think about the data migration as there are usually scenarios where you initially load some data into the target system and then after that you may discover that some field needed to be migrated also which wasn't part of the initial uh, migration package so then you can just add one field to the uh, column mapping and run this absurd action again and then it up updates the data on the target system or on using the source uh, uh, column which you just specified and here again you have the UTC format specification as I mentioned we fetch the data from the source using the UTC time format and time zone and then save the data also with the same time zone information to the target next one is the column mapping actually the tool looks like this um, um, very simple uh, mapping tool where you can specify the input column and uh, for each target column uh, and then you have the kind of like a couple of tools which you can use to make the uh, mapping easier one of those is the kind of like a text lookup which I use here for the owner ID field so for the owner of the account in the source we don't necessarily have the same system user GUIDs in the target system when we could use the GUID of the system user to be mapped from the source to the target but as, as it often is in the different CRM environments the system user GUIDs are different as it is here in our scenario so we fetch the owner ID name from the source and then we use the text lookup uh, feature of this uh, Kingsway soft tool to specify that the full name uh, attribute is actually used in terms of mapping the correct user from the source to the destination and in this one you of course needs to be need to be careful in terms of the name formatting that you are using between the two systems if it's different then of course the matching names will not be found if, if for example in the source you have the last name first name format and in the destination you have first name last name format but if those are the same then you can use uh, a mapping specification like this um, well that's basically it here uh, here is also the uh, the option set mapping which I just uh, went over um, on the uh, for this field we use the uh, name attribute which actually fetches over the value the the visible value of the option set value um, option instead of the index value and that is the way that you do the mapping here for the option sets even though of course the data type for the option set index value is an integer rather than a text value so we have the data mapping ready here and then one final thing is the error handling um, I have the error output here into a flat file destination 
which I've already uh, kind of specified but uh, here I can show you how it's done so um, you specify the uh, file name and, and location for the error file and then there are mappings which you can use from the source uh, if you want for example some, uh, some um, column from the source data to be shown in the error log you can do that here I've selected now only three error message type of fields to be shown in the destination uh, which is the flat file in, in our case so if there are any errors during the uh, data migration you will get these this information to the to the error file so I think we are ready to run the um, uh, package now just to show you uh, what kind of data we would be expecting uh, I have uh, this is the CRM 2011 source system where I have the accounts where the status reason is active and the city equals Espo we have three accounts here which should be migrated over to the to the destination so let's see what happens I'll start the um, Exec execute the task and um, then once it starts we can check the data flow actually from here in this view we can see it started over and three records as we expected and uh, there would be a figure here if some errors would have occurred and we can see that three records were also successfully uh, uh, ran over to the insert step so we would assume now that all the things are fine in terms of the data migration we can check the log file uh, it seems to be empty so uh, we don't expect there to be any errors and uh, then we check the destination CRM 2016 environment here I have it open with CRM advanced find we check for accounts where status reason equals active and the city equals espo there should be three of them there now and uh, as we can see it's uh, uh, 19th of February 2017 which is today 11:43 is the modified on date which is just one minute ago so we can say that the data migration was successful uh, and of course in here in Visual Studio side you can also see the progress from here uh, in the progress tab if you would have run into some issues when, with errors you would see those also in here but in more detail as I mentioned you see those in the, in the log file so this was basically it now a uh, very simple data migration scenario uh, where you can use this Kingsway soft integration toolkit for fetching the data from the dynamic CRM and then uh, saving it into another dynamic CRM system of course you have all kinds of different connectors, connection uh, possibilities available in this SSIS package you can for example read data from a flat file or excel file and then save those into the CRM but in this scenario which is very common for data migration or CRM up, upgrade projects um, I wanted to show you this this one so thank you for listening and have a great day